Let me ask you a question. What do you think about your past? Over the years in dealing with people and talking to people, I have realized that the past can have a very dramatic impact on our present, but not only that, on our future as well. Some people choose to ignore that the past happened. Some people uh, choose to live in the past as if it is always happening. And uh, both of those interpretations have a result that happens as we move forward and in our future. So what about you? Are you embarrassed about your past? Are you thankful for your past? How do you use your past and how does it impact where you're going in the future? I've decided recently that I'm going to become a student of my city. So I've been studying the history of Greensburg and uh, looking up the historical societies and seeing old photos and Wikipedia pages and and, uh, all these things to learn about my city because uh, I have a past in this city, but it only goes back 13 years uh, when I moved here and when I became a part of this city. But the city existed long before me, and so I'm trying to learn the history of the city to see where it is that we've come uh, so that I can look forward to where it is that I see the city going as well. There's a lot of really exciting things that are happening right now in Greensburg. New construction, uh, new roads, new organizations popping up, new events that are happening. And and as all of that is happening, uh, one of the things that we have to ask is, is it good or is it bad? And some of it may be good and some of it may be bad. But We can learn from our past by studying our past and then looking forward to the future as well. So what I decided to do is I decided to visit some of the historical buildings and places in Greensburg. We have some really, really cool architecture in this city. The historical district in downtown Greensburg consists of about 62 different buildings, all ranging from being built in the late 1800s to the early 1900s. The absolute oldest building that we have in Greensburg is at 132 South Main Street. It's this four-story building that has the Masonic Temple um, words across the top of it. It was built in 1872. Architecturally, this is one of my absolute most favorite buildings in Greensburg. The rumor is that um, 25 families paid five shillings for this piece of land, less than a dollar today, uh, for what makes up this site. It is the Blessed Sacrament Cathedral that was later built. It's one of the most beautiful buildings, I think, in all of Greensburg. They tell me that the reason that some of these buildings behind me have X's on them is because uh, they're considered structurally unsafe and so if there was a fire or something like that, uh, then they're to just leave them alone and let them burn because um, it creates more of a hazard than it's worth in saving them. So there's some of these buildings here in Greensburg. Cities nowadays tend to grow because they are near interstates that are of importance. Uh, Back in the day, they used to grow because they were on major waterways or close to major rail stations. That is what made Greensburg famous. This train station was what brought in a lot of traffic to Greensburg and it was a big draw to Greensburg. train would bring people into downtown Greensburg and then one of the favorite stops is they would stop by Troutman's department store which was uh, along with Sears and some others downtown a huge draw to the downtown scene. When the mall went in Interestingly enough, it ended up killing the department stores in downtown Greensburg, so we have these large abandoned buildings that used to be great department stores. Years ago, this was the Penn Albert Hotel. It opened in 1923, and it is the city's tallest structure. It's now used for senior housing and things like that. It has anywhere from 8 to 11 floors. And uh, they claim that at one time you could get a room here for $2, $2.50 to $3. 
Why don't you take the time to comment below about what your favorite piece of architecture is in Greensburg. Maybe you like some of the newer buildings that we see going up, like the addition to the Westmoreland Art Museum in downtown Greensburg and the way that that overhangs. That is such a, a, a neat thing to look at. Or maybe your favorite is the Seton Hill Arts Building that was just built here on Otterman Street and uh, its unique look that doesn't really match anything else in the city and kind of stands out as its own little art project. I'm here in one of the parklets that uh, my friend Liz told me about. I kind of expected to see her here. She says she comes here and hangs out and people just talk, And uh, but I guess she's not here. But um, here's what this video is about. See, I believe that the past and the present are both very, very important. You need to understand your past. You need to know the things that were bad and the things that were good in your past. But you also need to have a direction for your future. Uh, how to be better, and better does not always equal just new and different. I think Greensburg has a great past. It's so neat to understand where it is that we've come from, how we got here, but then also to know what it is that we need to know to draw us to the future. And some of that will be learned by looking at the past, and some of it will be learned by looking to the future. So as we study the past and the future, here's what we understand. Some things will need to change, and change is not always good, and it's not always comfortable, and it's not always the greatest, but at the same time, some things have to change. So here's what we can do. We can sit around and we can complain about the past and how it has always been broken, and we can look at the future and say, I don't like the direction that everything's going, or we can be part of making a difference by learning from our past and then moving forward to the future also. For me personally, I choose to be positive in this. I choose to see the potential that Greensburg and the communities around us have, and I'm really, really excited about what is about to happen. So I'm gonna be a part of it. I'm gonna get involved, and I'm gonna change as much as I can, and I'm gonna learn as much as I can from the past. See, this is Greensburg, and Greensburg is my city.